So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when I made that poll a couple days back, I was kinda hoping that One Piece would win. Because I've really wanted to do a review on One Piece Film Red, a movie I saw with some of my friends. But I knew that the MCU choice would win by default. Oh god, do we have a lot of ground to cover here. The Marvel Cinematic Universe has to be my favorite film franchise of all time. Spanning over years of films, from Iron Man 1, all the way to Avengers Endgame, and my second favorite movie of all time, Spider-Man No Way Home. Yeah, it goes up there with Akira. I went there. But those aren't why I'm worried about the MCU. Aside from No Way Home, Phase 4 has been pretty garbage, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Oh dear god. Now, you're probably asking, Segbra, what movies from the MCU this year have made you pretty worried about this franchise? It's in good hands. Well, I can't say that because of Doctor Strange 2 and Thor Love and Thunder. Okay, let me explain. Allow me to explain my two biggest problems with the films nowadays. Comedy and visual effects. Let's just say I'm rather disappointed. And I know, a lot of that comes from Thor Love and Thunder, but Doctor Strange 2 isn't innocent to this either. I think this has something to do with Disney's status quo now, with the whole Disney has to shit out everything on Disney Plus, or else people won't subscribe to Disney Plus anymore. That's just sad. Anyways, back to the comedy segment. It appears that in Marvel movies, characters now have to be comedic for some reason. Why? For me and most likely everyone, this really messed with the tone and pacing for Thor Love and Thunder. Like, incredibly. Jane is dying from cancer, and it's trying to play off as this comedic movie that Ragnarok was, even though this is a no relation to Ragnarok. Another thing is rushed plots and villain motivations, commonly seen in Doctor Strange 2, mainly with Wanda. Her motivation is to be with her non-existent kids. That's stupid. And then we have the visual effects. Oh boy. I mainly spotted this in Thor Love and Thunder and She-Hulk and Miss Marvel, but I'm not gonna go rewatch those or get scenes from those except for like this one She-Hulk scene. Aw, oh, big deal, Segbra. It's just these three products. How could you be worried about the future? I'm really scared that Black Panther 2 is gonna be bad because it's supposed to be a homage to Chadwick. In my eyes, I would see the future of the MCU as being nothing more than just lame comedy, bad visual effects, rushed plots, and overall just a stream of awfulness like how Phase 4 has been so far. I'm specifically scared for Black Panther 2, Guardians Volume 3, Avengers Secret Wars, and Avengers The Kang Dynasty since these have been hyped up, and considering how Phase 4 has been, I am very scared that they might turn out terrible like She-Hulk or Thor 4. But until then, only time will tell. For me, Black Panther 2 is gonna be the make or break. If it's bad, then I'm gonna stop watching MCU movies, and if it's good, I'll continue watching the MCU. Either way, there will be a review. However, before that, I gotta do my One Piece film red review, so stay tuned for that. Also, before you ask when the Black Panther 2 review comes out, I don't know, but to stay tuned for it more, you should probably follow my social media. This is the plug-in part of the video. If you want to see more content like this from me, I recommend you follow my Twitter, Instagram, and my Discord with these three ads here. Don't worry, I will accept your follow requests. If I like you, okay, I'm sorry, that sounded a little rude. So yeah, feel free to give my social media a follow and hit a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.